just defrosting the Rover 75 at the moment. Uh, I'm taking it to uh, somebody that I know through mutual friends uh, to have the rear of both sills replaced, cut out and replaced. Passed its MOT a few days ago. Um, no advisories for corrosion, but the sills have been bubbling for a couple of years uh, and I thought it would be better to get, it, uh, get them replaced now rather than when it's got a lot worse, so you can't really see it on the camera very well. Some light on it. Ah, there you go, you can see that. It's bubbling away. The other side is precisely the same. So in the boot we've got two Tom Hobbs repair panels. the packaging. These were quite expensive but I'm hoping that they're going to be a good fit. You can just see a bit of them there, I'm not going to take them all out but it covers, as you can see just down there, it covers the jacking point and about the rear, the whole rear quarter of the sill. The inner sill might need some work as well, we'll see. Three days later that's the 75 back and absolutely brilliant job done in the sills and the front bumper's been polished up as well now we couldn't wash it because when I picked it up the paint had only been done that morning so let's give it a wash just now it's got quite a bit of, of sanding dust on it at the moment we'll give it a quick wash and we'll see how good it looks That's it all clean now, so we can now have a look at the work that's been done on both sills. I'm really pleased with the job. So you'll see a picture earlier in the video of what it was like. And now, it is absolutely fantastic. I don't know if you can actually see as well, it's actually reinstated the stone chip line. So there's a line of stone chip runs along there. He's reinstated that as well to give it that factory look. And the other side, exactly the same quality. So these were two um, Tom Hobbs repair sections that I showed you earlier in the video. So what he said was, and I'll show you some pictures in the video, what he said was that the basic design of the 75 sill causes water traps. So there's a jacking point in there that plugs up into a hole in the sill between the inner and outer skin, I already knew this, there's no, no weld at all. Apologies for the background noise, there's somebody getting work done on their driveway. So there was no, there's no weld around the jack and point hole and the inner part of the sill which folds underneath the car, I knew this as well, it's only spot welded. And there's also a grommet hole at the back of the sill behind the arch liner, so water gets in three different ways, um, mud collects and when he took one of the outer sill, when he cut it off, it was full of water and muck, so he wanted to investigate why that was. We found the reason why. So, he's uh, welded the inner arch as well. I'll show you where that is. Just here. So behind here there's a grommet hole, and that was rotten. Um, up to about there. So he's replaced that and deleted the grommet hole. We filled it with wax first and then welded up the grommet hole. And he said the only dodge a bit of the arch is here. So the metal's still thick, so I'm just going to put some vac tan on that once it's dried. And then I'll paint it just with some sort of hammer right or something like that. But 
not too bad. Both sides were the same. What it's also done, I'll show you a picture up the top corner, uh, what it was like before. Polished the front bumper to get rid of the worst of the burn marks that were on it. This was caused by traffic film remover and it had burned particularly badly all around the headlights here and here. So he's got rid of all that. I don't know what he did. I think he just polished it up. And he's also polished both headlights, so they are nice and clear now as well. Look at that. Superb. So he said that it's the cleanest 04 plate car he's ever seen underneath. He had a good look over there underneath to see if there's any other blebs that he needed to touch in, but there was very little. And he said the shell's got at least 20 years left of life left in it, as long as you keep on top of it and the mechanicals are kept going. So that really is a ringing endorsement. And he said, this car's 100% a keeper. And this is my guy that does bodywork day in day out for a living in any spare time. And he does full restorations in classic cars. Um, you know, having to put braces inside them because so much metal has to be cut out. Not phased by it at all. So to have someone with that level of experience say that your car's in excellent condition. That's absolutely brilliant. I wasn't planning on selling it anyway. It's good to know that it was worth investing in and it's worth investing in in the future. Still runs at a Swiss watch. Really pleased with it. No plans to sell it. Cheers.